first things I built for myself when I was learning how to weld was a bicycle trailer, a big trailer that was five feet long and two feet wide, and I wanted to be able to haul around lumber and uh, go buy a bunch of groceries or, or go get bicycle frames from Craigslist because I was making stuff out of them or buy metal or whatever. Uh, and so I thought, hey, cool, I can make a business out of making these giant bicycle trailers. Uh, because there, there aren't that many options. There are lots of bicycle trailers out there that are they're little for carrying your kids or your dogs or whatever. And so that's what I originally thought I was going to do as my metalworking business was build bicycle trailers. So it was a real gradual process. I mean, we all, we, we never really had the intention of making a cohesive business out of this in the beginning. It was just some friends getting together to get all our tools in one place and have a, a place where we could go on the weekends and work on stuff and uh, learn learn about tools and learn new skills and do projects for fun, help out our friends. Over the years, it was like the more work we did for people, the more word of mouth work came into the shop and then we had a bigger budget and we'd buy more tools and we'd be able to do more jobs. And, get more jobs and we'd have to spend more time at the shop and so uh, it, it wasn't until Garth came on and started doing the same thing that we considered the idea of just essentially selling all of our individual assets to an overreaching company and being all in it together. Rarely do I have to do something really monotonous. I can, I can look forward to going into work every day and having a variety of things to do that draw on a bunch of different skills and uh, and get to use a bunch of different tools. So that's what keeps it fun and interesting. I mean, I, did, I, I look forward to going to work, usually. Sure.